Don't do it, buddy! Oh, stupid bird. A very sunny Tuesday morning. In fact, it's that sunny. We're having the sunglasses on before we move. Truck coming. <sighs> Audio is crap. So I'm going to try this. I have ordered a microphone, but I'm going to try this one for this week and uh, see if it improves it a little bit. I'll have a, I'll have a listen back on on this recording before I uh, do any further recording today. We'll see. Uh, yeah, as I say, it's Tuesday morning, uh, time being, what time is it, what time is it, 8.56 in the morning. I started work on Sunday this week. Um, on Friday I loaded um, to, ah, oh, boy boy, chap there's had his curtain slashed by the looks of it. Um, Sorry, a little bit distracted then, there was one of our last parts up. Um, yeah, I loaded on Friday, I loaded two uh, motorhomes out of um, Auto Trail at Grimsby. Um, there's a big show, this, uh, this not this week, but next weekend at the NEC at uh, Birmingham. Um, and I think we're moving something like 56 units, I think it is total. 56 vehicles. Most of them are coming from Grimsby, some of them are coming from a dealership uh, at Crew. So there's a lot to move. So I picked two up Friday, took them across to our yard at Markham Vale, um, and I dropped them in there. Well, I parked up with them on my back on on on, uh, on Friday night because it's tight space in there on, on a weekend. So I left them on my back overnight, um, and then Sunday I came in. I started at half ten Sunday morning. I tipped them two off, parked them up in space that was available because wagons had gone out. And then I went straight back to Grimsby, we had two more. Two out of there, and then down to our yard at Rugby. Um, and dropped them in there. Um, the plan then is, one of the Rugby lads will come up to Markham Vale and pick up... Uh, I have boys. Um, yeah, one of the Rugby lads, will have, uh, they'll have done it now, they've done it yesterday, but they'll have gone up uh, yesterday and picked them up from Markham Vale. Gone to Birmingham with them. Whew. And uh, same with the uh, ones dropped in rugby. One at, again, one of rugby lads would have picked them up and took them. And then I went on from there. I went across the uh, the A14. I was hoping to get to Cambridge Services for the night because I was heading down to uh, Ipswich. But more precise, Orwell. Um, but I didn't know that the A14 was shut um, in the roadworks around uh, Huntingdon and Cambridge around that area. So I ended up parked short in a, uh, a lay-by on the A14. By the time I got up yesterday morning, Monday, uh, the roadworks had lifted, so straight through. And I went down to Orwell for seven o'clock, uh, Orwell uh, Mercedes dealership, and pick up the Unimogs that we, we delivered in last week's video, um, that we moved last week. Um, eight of us again, there was only me and one of the lads that was there last week, there this week. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, out of the eight that did it last week, there was only two of us again on it this week. Um, and I had a I had a different load on. It was not very pleasant. It took ages to get the. Uh, it was actually a grass cutter. It's a Unimog fitted out with uh, with grass cutting equipment, and uh, it was an absolute pain to get it low enough. And nobody knew how to do it. And it was all guesswork. Anyway, we managed to uh, cobble it together. And then we uh, went out to a, a place called. I'm probably killing the pronunciation, but it's something like Guiting Power, Guiting Power, something like that. It's over near uh, Sirencester, that way on-ish kind of sort of way. 
um, to a, a farm shop activity centre thing. But again, it was in the middle of nowhere. weren't as tight as Jimmy's last week, but it was uh, it was entertaining. Some of the lads went in the wrong way, came up against the 25 ton weight limit, so they had to stop. Then they were out of time, so they had to stop for 45 and take a break. But uh, me and one of the lads went in a different way, and uh, we got, went straight in. So that worked out really well. I've got massive amounts of delays on my front door. Let's have a look. Let's give me a diversion. Four. I've already diverted once. So what road that is. Oh, it's here for. We'll go for that. <laughs> Show me 38 minutes delay, and uh, the diversions give me a, a 37 minute um, alternative route. I don't know if you can hear that ringing, but uh, someone's ringing me. Let's decline it. Decline it. Honestly, there we go. So yeah, um, got tipped yesterday afternoon down this uh, this little country lane. Pulled out of there and then headed down towards Portsmouth. And um, uh, where did I stop last night? Oh, Membury Services. I stopped at Membury. Uh, I got in there on a the 13 yesterday. Up at half four this morning into Portsmouth. Just in time for a boat to be uh, coming out, you know, offloading the boat, so there was absolutely crap loads of traffic coming out of the dock, uh, just as I was trying to leave, but anyway, we got, I got loaded, I've got a single unit on, um, you'll see a photo on the screen somewhere, I just took a photo, oh she's a dirty girl, the truck that is, she, uh, yeah, she's desperate in need of a wash, all those lanes we were on uh, yesterday were just absolutely ridiculous, she's absolutely filthy. Did not like me at all because my truck's normally kept in pretty good condition. It's been neglected over the last couple of weeks, but the weather's not exactly been good, has it? He says. Bright, beautiful sunshine. So this one's going up to a place up near Telford somewhere. Um, it's a, uh, as you see in the photograph, it's a six wheel, rigid chassis, 11 metre long. So I simply can't get anything else on with it. But it goes on its own. It's quite cool, really. It's got um, air ride front and rear. Normally it's, it has air ride on the rear as standard, but this one on the back it's got front, front air as well, which helps me out because I can drop it down about three inch in height for travelling. So I'm only running at uh, 15 seven I measured, 15 foot seven, which is at what 4.7 meters I think it is. Um, if you don't know, we can run up to 16 foot six um, without any kind of issues, well alleged issues. Um, if a bridge isn't marked, it's, it's a minimum of 16 foot 6. Us as a company, we run at a maximum of 16 foot 3. Just gives you that little bit of a cushion there. Uh, and we're, we're up there quite regular. We're up there yeah, quite, quite often. So if you did watch my last vlog, um, you'll see when I was signing off at the end, the last piece, uh, I put a bit of text on the screen. Um, uh, when I when I finished recording, I got out and went to uh, go pay uh, pay for parking. Got, I was parked at Sutton Scotty that night, um, and there was a, a daft container truck parked behind me, a white daft. And um, if you if you're around the vlogs around YouTube, you may know the name Trucker Jenko. Um, he's kind of the one that inspired me to do the vlogs. He, uh, watching his vlogs got me got me thinking about doing it to be fair um, so if you're watching this Martin it's all your fault it's all your fault I'm doing this but uh, I went over introduced myself said hello told him I was I was a fellow vlogger albeit brand spanking new obviously I've not been doing this very long um, said my goodbyes went across paid for my parking Got my nice, nice, healthy uh, tea, McDonald's. Don't tell the wife. I got, a, I got a with my parking, uh, parking. I got a, a food voucher, so I got a wrap. Normally, I get a massive meal, 
Um, but we'll talk about health, weight, weight loss in a bit, well later on today probably. Um, but I'm trying to be really as good as possible. But I'm getting free food, why should I pay for food out of my cupboards and stuff like that? Uh, I should be a little bit more savvy on what I'm buying. So I ended up with uh, six chicken nuggets, which are not perfect, but you know, not bad. Well, six chicken nuggets and I got a, a wrap. Um, I don't even remember what wrap it was, but that's all I got. Uh, and then while walking back, I see his, uh, I see his Jenko looking out of his window, and then he's getting out of his cab, GoPro in hand. I thought, here we go, I'm getting interviewed here. Yeah, sure enough, bless him, fair enough. He came over with his GoPro, introduced me to his channel, uh, introduced me on his channel, should I say, um, and put a shout out for more subs. Uh, if I get more people to uh, come and have a look at my channel and uh, subscribe. Um, I checked this morning. At that point, uh, Jenko did say I was on uh, 100 and some. I wasn't. I was about 60 odd subs, which I've already been going two months really. And I had a few weeks off because, yeah, I had a few weeks off due to issues with my gaffer. Um, not issues, concerns from the gaffer. Um, so yeah, I had 60 odd subs. <coughs> and I checked this morning and because of Jenko's shout out I'm something like 370 so so Jenko if you are watching I can't thank you enough pal and I will catch up with you at a show somewhere and I will be buying you a pint or four big thumbs up pal I really appreciate that uh, every one of you has come across from Jenko's channel again you get the same big thumb up, thumbs up I'm not buying each one of you pints though but I really do appreciate you uh, you coming along I hope you uh, I hope you like the contact contact content that you're, you're going to get to see um, so I've waited on for what 11 minutes 12 minutes now so we'll leave you to it I'll uh, throw in a bit of time lapse for you we all love a bit of time lapse and some nice beaty music. Oh yeah. And I will catch you up when I'm approaching uh, wherever it is I'm going. I can't remember what it's called. Somewhere up to Helford Way. The CL Port's good. So, somewhere up there. So I'll catch you soon, guys. Take care. Bye.
journey. Uh, time now is 13.40. Uh, I stopped at Chiva on my way up. Chiva services. Wrong. Chiwil Valley services. Uh, junction 10 on the M40. I had a, a cheeky 45 brake to clear my driving car. I had about 20 minutes left on the, on the first driving period. So I had to stop. And I've got uh, three miles to go. I had a quick nosy on Google and uh, Street View. Um, at this place I'm going to. And it seems like it seems like it's easy to spot, but there's nothing on the outside to say it's actually the place I'm looking for. Um, but, yeah, like I say, it should be easy to spot. Everything points to, to keep the place that way. We'll find out. Yeah, I got back onto the M40 and there was a, um, a crash which cost me about 45 minutes, 40 minutes, so um, a, um, a foreigner in a van to try driving over the top of the uh, Ford Fiesta Not too much damage on the Ford Fiesta I've had all the inside from Connor over it, so it's a bit of a mess. A bit of a mess. Hopefully, we'll move on That's what the main, main thing, isn't it? That's what matters. Some cars can be repaired, etc. When I was going through comments earlier, I, um, when I was on break, I was going through uh, YouTube comments on the videos. Um, yeah, every one of you has took the time to actually comment. Um, I really do appreciate it. I really do. Comments regarding audio, uh, sound quality being poor. I'm fully aware of it being poor. That's why I'm giving this a go. I checked the first recording and it seemed a lot better. You get a lot less background noise when I'm on the motorway. Um, like I said, I, I have ordered a microphone. Uh, I ordered it last weekend, so that should be at home by the time I get home on Friday. Um, fingers crossed. Uh, we should uh, we should nail it. We'll see. I'm still recording on my uh, Samsung phone up there on the screen and I've got a... Well, I went out and bought a GoPro I bought a GoPro set, uh, Hero 7 White uh, a little bit naive to GoPros, never really had the use for them and uh, I've already got this I'm using an 8-man A70 on the dash cam at the moment I'd already got that ages ago bike on a mountain bike. So I've been using that up to now. That costs a total of 40 quid. 40 quid for everything. There's loads and loads of bits, loads of mounts and stuff that came with it. It was uh, you know quite a lot, of, a lot of gear within the package. Um, the, uh, the GoPro I purchased in 1979 and it came with very very little and it doesn't do a great deal more. So I'm very, very disappointed in it. Um, yes, the quality of the video is slightly better. That much better? Like, oh, four times the price better? I'm quite sure. Other than the uh, 80 quid to me, is a lot of money at the moment. So we've, uh, I took it back. My money back. Yeah. Got it from Argos. And, you know, they have got the no quibble on that. So I took it back and got my cash back. Um, I will upgrade cameras as and when money will allow, but it's tight in our house as it is in most people's houses. So I have to be careful and I have to justify everything that I spend to the wife. She hit the roof when I paid hundreds. Well, that's probably the reason I took it back to be honest, if I'm genuinely honest. Um, yeah, she, she wasn't happy about me doing it, but she understands why. She understands why I'm vlogging. No, she doesn't understand why I'm vlogging, but she understands why I want a better content, better quality. Uh, so yeah, we're sticking with the 8-man for now, and we'll get on with that. The good thing about the 8-man as well, one thing I do like about it is I can, I can actually keep it plugged in on charge while I'm using it, which you can't do with GoPro. At least, I don't think you can. Um, we'll see. Anyway, we're out digress. Coming up on a right turn shortly, not this one, so the next one, and then that's, 
it's the road we need and then I believe there's a slight right hand bend when I get onto the road and the property I premises I'm looking for could be on the left hand side could be up there So not that one. Very promising. No, it's, it's got a new sign up. What was up there when they did three of you? So. Right, ladies and gents, it's only a quick one, short one. I'll leave you there for now. Get this tipped. And I'll get back to you straight afterwards. Take care, guys. Take care guys, it's going to be soon. Bye. Hi guys, how are we? Welcome back. Um, yeah, as you saw, I've got tipped. That's quite a lengthy uh, time lapse, that wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed that. It was maybe a bit too long. But uh, as you see, I pulled out of the uh, the coach works, body works, whatever you want to call it. Bodybuilders. Ah, <laughs> God, it's a long time since I did any of that crap. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm now on my way to uh, Nottingham to load a uh, second-hand Scania and a second-hand DAF XF, um, and they're both going down to Sheerness Docks. Um, I've got 46 miles to go. 100, uh, 100. Don't do it, birdie! Oh, stupid bird! I don't bother about the bird. I just didn't want to damage my truck. <laughs> <laughs> um, where was I? Yeah, I've got an hour and one minute. That's what I was getting at. Got an hour and a minute to get there. Uh, they're, yeah, they're going, they're going for uh, export at Sheerness Docks. So obviously, I can run you down to Docks, but obviously, I can't take you in tomorrow. Uh, I'll carry on this vlog through tomorrow. Give you a second day. No idea what I'll be doing. Sheerness, probably into Harwich. Maybe into Basildon for tractors. Don't know. But there we're on Tuesday, isn't it? Is it Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. Yeah, it could be anything. We'll find out tomorrow, won't we? Magical mission tour. So I'm on the A53. I'm heading for the M6. Well, to junction 16 of the M6. I'll go underneath the M6 onto the A500 through Stoke pick up the A50 and that takes me uh, pretty much straight to it to where I'm going to load so it's nice and easy I might stop at Utoxita for a break I've got 1 hour 43 left of this driving period and I've got a total of 3 hours and 9 minutes for the day that's on a 10 hour drive if I choose to drive 10 hours per um, working periods what are we on now 3 o'clock so I've got 4 and a half hours left of working period 
I probably won't get to use all that anyway. All that driving period after I've got loaded. And I need another break. So I know I'll run out of duty time today, I won't use all my driving time. Shane S Docks is uh, quite a drive from Nottingham, so I'd like to get down there a bit tonight, at least an hour or two, at least an hour. Go from there, where would I stop tonight? Then I will figure that out later. <coughs> I, uh, a couple of the comments. Um, I was going through comments earlier on my break, I didn't mention it before, and uh, one comment, well I had a couple of comments actually, about the quality of the audio, uh, I'm fully aware, as I mentioned at the start of this vlog, fully aware that the audio on previous vlogs have been pretty poor, fully aware of it, background noise etc. I, um, I have ordered a, uh, a microphone, um, I ordered that last weekend. Um, and well, obviously I can't get that until next until this weekend coming. So by the time you watch this, I should be in con uh, possession of it. This cable I'm using at the moment is literally it's just a hands-free plug-in thing. Um, I trialled it on my first recording this morning, and I watched it back, and it seems to be a heck of a lot better. A lot less background noise, which is the biggest problem. So uh, fingers crossed this week's a lot better than it should have, it, it has been. <coughs> I use a uh, I use my my phone. I've got um, Samsung. I think it's a S8. I think it is. Yeah, I think it's an eight. Might be a nine. But um, I don't know. Whatever it is, it's an S somewhat. Um, Samsung. That's what your. That's what I record audio and the uh, face cam on. Still need to mess about with the video settings because it's in and out on the focus a bit. So I'm fully aware of that one. The front camera is a, uh, it's an Ape, Ape Man, um, A70. It's a cheap 40 quid action camera. I bought it uh, six months ago to uh, go on a mountain bike helmet when I go out mountain biking. Yes, I go out mountain biking. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, I did go out a couple of weeks ago and bought a GoPro Hero 7 White. Um, I went back this weekend and returned it. Oh, that snuck up. Yeah, I went back this weekend and returned it because I was really not happy with it. Um, I wasn't achieving much. The video quality was slightly better. The audio was no better at all. Um, very, very disappointed in the camera itself and to say it's over four times the price of the ape man i couldn't justify spending it so i returned it i'm gonna refund you've got to love argos haven't you uh, um so obviously i paid maybe i paid a little bit extra because it's from argos but at the end of the day it's, it's, it is what it is so yeah we're sticking with the ape man for now um obviously this is brand new the channel's brand new I don't know if it's going to take off, I don't know if it's going to be a success, I've said it before I think in videos, I don't want to spend too much money uh, to be left with equipment and software that I'm not going to use again, uh, until I know that it's a hit, it's worthwhile, and then I'll start spending some money. The, uh, that was a good bit of driving that Mr Civic, the, um, the editing software that I use is licensed, there is a free version which is what I'm using. No. Um, it's a free version that I'm using at the moment, but it limits on features um, and also has the uh, the watermark. So if I'm stopping and starting talking, but I'm concentrating, obviously I'm, I don't want to hit anything. Um, yeah, down the uh, it's down that side, I think, in the bottom corner, you'll see a watermark. That's um, that's because I haven't paid the subscription, the license for it. Um, I'm totally legit and legal to use it like that, um, but it reduces the amount of features that I can use. Um, and like I say, it has the, uh, it has the watermark on the, on the screen all the time. But that's somewhere like 50 quid to get that. And again, I'm just not prepared to pay it, not just yet. I will do. 
I will do. As soon as a, a video comes up and there's no watermark, you know I've coughed up the cash. I've not been a typical tight Yorkshireman. I can, I'm sure you can appreciate why why I, uh, I don't want to spend the money yet. So, for the quality, you're going to have to suffer with what you've got at the moment. Um, it will improve over time, just it's down to financing. Financing it, and I'm, that's it. I have to justify it to the wife why I want to spend this money. I would love to go out and spend you know, 320 quid on a Hero Black, uh, Hero 7 Black uh, GoPro. The sound quality is really good. You can plug a microphone into it, the audio, the video. It's just the dog's danglies. But it's 320 quid worth of ear I'm going to get off the missus. And, and I'm not prepared for that at the moment. So uh, we deal with what we've got. And this is what we've got. <clears throat> Another question I got asked uh, by I think it was three different comments what vehicle am I driving what is it what kind of Scania well it's a, a 19 a 19 freaking hell I haven't driven a 19 anything for a long time it's a it's a 20 it's a 68 plate um, Scania R450 uh, next gen so it's the updated uh, cab etc um, it's a massive improvement on the old Scania. I had a, had a 16 plate streamline before this. And as a, as a company, we're, uh, we're very, very spoiled in the, in the vehicles. We've got uh, quite a high spec for a, a fleet motor, it's, it's quite highly spec. This one, well, majority of the, uh, the next gens on the road for us have got uh, full leather seats, uh, leather door cards, leather steering wheel. Um, we have an infotainment system, um, really good quality height, uh, hands free. We do have cradles fitted for the phones with charging points. We have a uh, 2000 watt pure sine wave power inverted fitted by the company so we can run microwaves and, uh, and power uh, low wattage kettles and TVs and things like that if that's what you're into. Uh, we have CB radios, um, albeit they're not very good. But they're only used for escorting work, you know, when you've got the escort vans. Um, so, yeah, the vehicles are quite highly specced. Um, we don't have a, a second bunk, as you can see behind me. There's no second bunk. Um, we have an extra set of lockers. So, there's another three lockers up there, which are huge. Uh, one of them has a shelf in it, one of them has my microwave. Um, so, storage is, is massive. There's loads and loads of storage. Uh, which leads me on to another point that I want to speak to you about. Um, I'm doing. Trying to get around here without hitting the curb or taking a car out. Um, yeah, these these vlogs. I aim to have these vlogs, the weekly vlogs, um, live, ten o'clock every Sunday morning. Uh, that's what I'm going to try my utmost to do. Very very utmost to do. Uh, which will be the, probably a two day, normally a two day vlog, maybe a three day unless it's really really interesting I'll do a single day, I don't know, but there'll be a a weekly vlog of this kind of ilk, what you're watching right now that'll go live Sunday morning on a Wednesday, a Wednesday evening at 7pm I'm going to upload uh, or have go live and there will be one available now for you to watch because it went live on Wednesday just gone, as in tomorrow for me right now as I'm recording it. That's just really confusing. I'm recording this now on Tuesday. Tomorrow night, Wednesday at 7 pm, there will be a video go live um, explaining the weekly, uh, the mini vlog, as I'm nicknaming it. But to you guys, that will have, by the time you watch this on Sunday, it'll be about four days old. So if you've not seen it, go check it out. Have a look. Have a look. On the mini vlog, I'm going to run the um, weight loss that I've mentioned in the previous two weeks. I'm going to chart it on there. I'm not going to do it on this channel, on this uh, on this weekly vlog. Um, I'm going to keep it on the on the mini vlog. So you'll find out on a Wednesday night how I've done the previous week. Uh, I'll still weigh in when I get home on a, on a Saturday morning. I'll get weighed on a Saturday morning. Um, and then post it on to go live on the Wednesday night so you'll find out the previous week's achievements 
failures, whichever way it's going to be, it's going to be achievements. Uh, you'll find that out on a Wednesday. Also on that, I'm going to do things like um, loading of vehicles. Um, I will do some. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I will do some through uh, the weekly vlog, obviously. Um, but I'll do um, yeah, loading of vehicles. Um, load offloading, obviously. Um, I will be doing some polishing as well. It's not the time of year now. It's getting towards winter, so we're starting to back off a bit from the polishing side. Um, but yeah, come March time, um, providing that I've got a new truck by then, because that's a possibility, um, we'll be getting back into polishing. So I'll show you a bit of how I do it and the products I use, and that'll be on a Wednesday. Uh, I'll do a cab tours, um, cooking, I'll do a bit of cooking, show you how I do my cooking. But that's, that's the idea for a Wednesday, so I aim to have two videos out a week. Um, mini vlog on a Wednesday at 7 p.m. Main weekly vlog Sunday at 10 a.m. There's a couple of reasons for it, and I'll go into that later on and tell you why I've done that. So I've witted on for ooh, 14 minutes now, that's a flipping long time. So I will leave you to it <coughs> and I will catch up. Uh, I don't know. I'll catch up after I've loaded. After I've loaded. After I've loaded, I'll get back to you and let you know how I'm getting on, where I'm going to go. In fact, no, well, I'll get parked up and I'll uh, I'll speak to you then. So I'll speak to you tonight when I'm parked. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Well, I'm uh, parked up and paperwork. I um I got loaded it's at Nottingham with the two I had on. They're a bit uh, one's a DAF space cab, which had all roof wind deflectors taken off the roof, so the height's low. So I put that up the front. Um the other one's a um a scannier top line, which is really high. Um so I had an issue with that one in respect to that well it was too really high. Yeah, it's too high, so I've had to um, load it a bit odd. Really, I've had it. I put the scanner on, drove the scanner on first, um, and then I had to reverse the top line on, but leave it towards the back of the trailer because if you've got, it's hard to explain. If you've got a, a ramp area at the back of the trailer. It looks like that, if you like. Yeah, and then you put the ramps there. So I've left the front wheels down here, so that the cab's height, the cab height is low or lower, and I got it down to um, uh, 16 foot one, which is below the uh, the company limit of 16.3. So I'm all good to go. Uh, where did I start? Where did I load that Portsmouth? So I run down the road, and I've got to. Um, our yard at Rugby. So that's where I am for the night. Market. Drayton. That's where I tipped that one this morning. You know, I don't remember. I couldn't remember what it was called. The town I was going to. Market Drayton. Uh, paperwork's nice and easy. Um, it's a good thing I like about the company. Paperwork is easy. There's not reams and reams of the stuff. Uh, daily check sheet, POD sheet, then I delivered one vehicle today. I've got a time sheet, uh, a POD, a POD list. POD is proof of delivery. Um, so it's just a list of what vehicles we've done and then a, a, a sheet for any expenses that I've incurred. Parking, tariffs, you know, tolls and things like that. So that's easy, that's done. Um, me personally, I have an envelope because I post mine in because we're, we're not out based as such me and another guy um, but yeah it's, it's how they want us to do it so we uh, we post our paperwork in suits me I don't care makes no difference to me as long as my wage goes in the bank that's all that matters Ooh, put that back on oh, I'm so yeah uh, I'm here for the night 
I'm on, um, I just got parked up on 14 and a half hours for the day. Um, 620 odd K, same miles. Don't know, somebody break the meal, work it out. 600 odd K, that's going to be around about 400 miles, I think, something like that. So, not being too bad. Um, that's why I'm heading out to Sheerness in the morning with these two going into the docks. So, I'll leave for tonight, I'll leave this for tonight. And I'll pick you up in the morning sometime when I'm getting closer to the docks and uh, we'll have a chat then about my mountain bike career. I mentioned it earlier, remember? We'll have a, we'll have a chat about that. So, good night for now and I'll see you in the morning, guys. Take care. Bye for now. As he burps. <laughs> morning, people. Ah, uh, people. That's a bit rude, that, wasn't it? Morning! <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, I'm running to Sheerness Docks now. I've got about three miles to go, nine minutes. As you know, I got up to Rugby Truck Stop last night. No, that's a lie. I got up to our depot at Rugby last night. Part there for night. Had my microwave tea. What did I have last night? Oh, uh, yeah, it wasn't very nice to me, but it was okay. It was, uh, Thai red curry, Thai red chicken curry and sticky rice. It's okay. Filled the belly. Loop. I've passed absolutely shed loads of standing traffic going the other way. Loads of traffic. It's a little bit uh, disheartening. I'm going to stand in it all going back. Uh, I am writing what I said. I guess yesterday I was going to uh, Basildon after I tipped here. So yeah, I'm going to Basildon with three tractors uh, to the factory there for New Holland. Um, and they're going to um, Sea Truck at Bootle, uh, which is uh, Liverpool way, on the west coast. And then from there I'm back to our depot at um, Runcorn, um, picking up Judging by the serial numbers, it looks like another two tractors. Um, and they're going to Birkenhead Docks, which is only half an hour down the road from my yard. So we'll see how much I get done today. Uh, I can't see me getting everything. Well, I won't get everything done. I, I can imagine. No, it's. I'm not 100% certain I'll even get Basil and finish. Yeah, I should do. Yeah, I might, I might get back to Uncorn tonight, but I don't think we're going to get much further. But we'll see how we get on anyway. Obviously, I'll take you guys along with me. With me. Ow. And you'll know, won't you? I've never been at these docks once before. And that was about 18 months ago. No, maybe not. It wasn't long after I started. With, uh, with WS. So I'm going to guess that it's probably about... March time last year, and it's now October this year. <laughs> so yeah, probably 18 months ago since I last year. It's a butty van over there. I could write you eat a bacon butty. I'm not allowed one. I'm going to get tipped. Oh, I thought we were coming around then. I'm going to get tipped at the dock. gonna have a 15 minute break and I'll make myself a cup of tea and have a bowl of frosties before you all start shouting at me I know frosties are not the healthiest of the options but it's what I've got um, it's what I'm having I like frosties I only have half the portion I used to have obviously half the portion of milk but it's a lot better than I was place is just depressing, it's really grotty. It's not an attractive place to come to. It's not a pretty place, you know, you know what I mean? So I got parked up, did my paperwork as you saw, 
had my tea, went and got a shower. Didn't get a shave. I generally only shave once a fortnight. I hate shaving. Didn't love it when I was in the army. So I, uh, I'm a bit lazy when it comes to shaving. And then I uh, got chilled out and watched a, watched a bit of telly. I've run out of 24, I was watching 24, I've run out, I've caught up. I need to make another series just so I can watch it. Started watching the new Peaky Blinders last week as well, and uh, the new series, I can't get into that. I watched, I binge watched all the other series right up to date, and then they brought out this new series, and I just can't get into it. Don't know why. Don't know why. Not far now. If I remember correctly, I come to a roundabout down here. Yes, I do. A roundabout in half a mile. Turn the left, and that's the port entrance. Obviously, at the port entrance, I'm going to knock the front camera off. I don't want to be getting done. I haven't been done since we're at school. <laughs> I don't want to get done. <laughs> For those that you don't, don't know what I mean, it means that I don't want to get told off. I don't want to get done. I don't know if it's the Yorkshire thing or what, I don't know. <sighs> now we're left here. Where's our fridge going? Nowhere because he's not bothering indicating. So right guys, I will leave you now. As I go around this corner, we'll see security gate. There it is. I don't know if I have to go see him, can't remember. So I'll leave you now and I'll catch you up on my way out. Bye for now guys. Hi guys, well uh, I'm out of Sheerness. It's that long to tip, um, but I uh, I decided to take a 45 minute break and clear my driving time. I was on I had an hour and a half left. Um, yeah, I had an hour and a half left of my driving on my four and a half, but so much traffic, rush hour traffic on my front door, going back, I figured I'd set the extra 45 minutes and uh, we might have got rid of some of it. Some of it. Sat now showing 25 minutes. When I first checked before I made that decision, there was nearly an hour. So. I probably gained an hour, uh, sorry, half an hour. But I would never have got to uh, Basildon on an hour and a half anyway, so I'd have had to stop to take a break at some point on, on my way down, on my way back up here. I don't think I've ever explained um, driving hours. Obviously, you truck drivers that are watching this, you already obviously know this, but uh, those of you who uh, have never set foot in a truck, or are wanting to step foot in a truck. A driver, a HGV driver, or anybody tachograph ruled, uh, regulated, can drive a total of four and a half hours continuous. Well, not continuous. You can drive a total of four and a half hours in one session. I'm just gonna fall off, there we go. Um, in one session without, uh, without taking a break. After four and a half hours, they have to take a uh, 45 minute break and then can drive for another four and a half hours total. Um, twice a week, that can be extended to a total of uh, 10 hour drive. So obviously two four and a half is nine hours. So that's your normal drive, normal day. Um, so twice a week, it can be extended to a further hour but you have to take another 45 minute break. Um, because I've only done three hours driving this morning, that doesn't mean I've lost that other hour and a half. I can get that later. I'm going to be on a 10 hour drive today because I've got so much traveling to do. So I will get to Basildon now. 
I'll um, I'll get loaded and I'll get a couple of hours up the road. Well, as soon as I know I've got less than four and a half hours total driving time for the day, I'll stop, have another 45, and I'll get my lunch. That gives me then a total of four and a half hours left, or whatever left, you know, less than four and a half hours to run for the rest of the afternoon to get me up to uh, Bootle and then hopefully back down to Run uh, Runcorn. That's how I'm going to run today anyway, we'll see how it pans out. Obviously I'm going to keep, with you, keep you with me all day. Um, probably until I get into Runcorn or wherever I get parked up tonight, I'm hoping to make Runcorn. I'll take you into the yard with me at Runcorn. Um, desperately, desperately, desperately need to get the truck washed because she's filthy. Um, <laughs> one of the guys ran me up yesterday, he went the other way, one of the show lads that I got to shows with, he ran me up uh, yesterday. Uh, we passed each other on the A50 and he ran me up just to make sure it was me that was driving it because my truck's in such a mess. He couldn't believe it was me driving it, he couldn't believe I'd left it in such a mess. So I had the opportunity, um, where I park, they do have a wash, but it's tankers uh, in there and it takes them uh, probably 45 minutes to do a tanker. Um, you get back on a Friday and there's a queue, there's a queue for tanker for wash, it's all tankers. Um, uh, I haven't been anywhere else. I went into rugby last night, but it's not the best of washes at rugby. I, I don't like it, not for a full wash. I don't mind just nipping into my wheels and tyres and that, but not to do a full wash. So I'll get it done at Runcorn tomorrow, hopefully. I did pull on the wash last week just as I went for break, and I didn't have time to wait for them to have the break and then get washed. That was last Tuesday. So the truck, as you saw in the photo earlier in the vlog, is absolutely disgusting. And it is quite embarrassing to be fair, because like I say, I do keep it in good nick normally. But as uh, somebody said last night, that I posted on my Facebook page, on the Witten Trucker Facebook page, link will be in the description. Um, somebody messaged me on there, oh, somebody commented on it. I put a photo on saying it was dirty. Um, and he says, well, it is a working truck at the end of the day. Show truck next. Fair point, can't argue with that. Can't argue with that at all. Well, this was queued all the way back when I passed this morning. A good couple of miles. So at least that bit's uh, dissipated. But the delay on the sat nav now is down to 18 minutes. But we'll see. Where do I need to go? No, not that way. Oh, I nearly took the wrong exit. We'll have this one that takes me to my one, my bit. <laughs> so I've already been to Shane S once before, as I said earlier. So this is uh, kind of new to me, I can't really remember when I'm going around here. And we'll get onto the motorway. I'll bid you a fond farewell when we do that. And I'm going to ask the boys in um, Basildon if I can film them, film them loading because they uh, they load the vehicles for us. We're, we're not allowed to drive them on uh, in their yard. They uh, they put them on for us. So I will see if they'll uh, allow me to film while they're loading. I'll strap it down and leg it. So I will uh, I'll say I'll say I'll say goodbye for you right now, and I'll catch up with you in a couple of hours um, once we're loaded at Basildon and I'll stick a bit of time lapse in for you now if uh, if you wish but then you got much choice because it's up to me what I do in it <laughs> but there might be some time lapse there might not I might just leave it until I get to Basildon I'll film some time lapse if they let me record at Basildon I'll stick that footage up for you instead of the time lapse so see what you get see you soon guys bye bye
Bye guys. Well, 1716 apparently. Oh, I shut that so I don't get things flying out of my head. Uh, well, I had an epic drive down from um, where have I been this morning? Sheerness. Just over two hours to get from Sheerness to here at Basingstoke. Oh, Basingstoke again, Basildon. Um, it's only 46 miles, but apparently there was a wagon broke down on the entrance to the Dartford Tunnel and it just queued everybody back. So, oh. Plain water. And we've got orange squash. Love these, there is. A square. Bit of a mix. I don't put a lot in. Just something to change the flavour of the smidge. Mixedy mixed. Orange juice. Downside cheaper than uh, shops. Well, I did the time lapse coming out, as you've just seen. Um, I asked when I got here, and uh, they ummed and had and ifed and nuffed, and we weren't quite sure. So I said, don't worry about it, mate. We won't take the risk, and I just won't do it. It's not uh, it's not worth me getting a told off, is it? A told off? A telling off, either. It's just not worth it, so uh, we just dip it out. So now we're heading towards Bootle, um, Bootle Docks. Two of our lads have just left. They've both loaded with three tractors apiece. Um, I was going to get them on film as I left, but somebody forgot to change the memory card in the camera, in the front camera. So I, uh, I haven't. Obviously, it's quite a heavy load. Is this? Well, that is a roundabout. There's no way I can get round that roundabout, but he certainly could have made an effort. Yeah, we certainly know when we've got these on the rear, they're, they're heavy, they're about, they're about seven and a half ton each, something like that. Yeah, they're about seven, seven and a half ton a piece, it certainly puts me up towards my 44 ton weight limit. This, uh, this truck and trailer, the trailer I've got is called a kicker, uh, if you watch right till the end, there's a photograph right at the end where it likes, share, subscribe and all that stuff. Um, that shows the kicker in its kicked um, formation, as it were, where I've got three trucks on. Uh, we don't do many like that. Uh, these three tractors all fit on the bed flat, yeah, so there's no issues on that. But uh, the trailer itself, with the unit, um, it grosses out at um, 20 ton, just sat on its own, without a load on it. So it leaves me 24 ton to play with, puts me up to my 44 ton weight limit. It's one thing we have to bear in mind, we have to be very, very careful of. When we've got... When we've got um, three three trucks on, we can carry medium size at the front, small one on the kicker, and then a big one on the back. We are right on the 44 ton, I think it's something like 39... Uh, 40... 49.8, I think it, it weighs in out, something like that. And then on fuel in the vehicle. But it's right up there on the way limit. <sighs> Juice is slopping about. I don't know if you can hear that on camera. It's slopping about. Um, so I've got four hours and 56 minute drive ahead of me. I've got five hours and seven minutes left on a 10 hour drive. An extended drive. I can't believe for a millisecond that I'm going to get 235 miles without hitting traffic. Because I've only got, what, 12 minutes grace. The docks are open 24-7. I can go onto the docks at any time and, and tip them. Um, and I can park right outside the gates. So if I was to get there with those 12 minutes spare, not an issue. I'd just get tipped, pull out the gates, pull my card. Job done. But I can't see it happening. I think... Hope. I think I'm going to end up at uh, Burtonwood Services tonight. I think that might be uh, home for the night. We'll, uh, we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Change lanes. I'm going right at the roundabout. Santa's already showing me a one-minute delay. Lots of 
depends which way it's taking me. I'll have a look when we get on fuel. But I think I'm going to go. My thinking is, I know which way that will want me to go, but um, my thinking is I will go back to the M25, around to the M11, up the M11, A14, stay on the A14 all the way across to um, the M1. Oh, you flipping idiot. It was indicating left. This, this, this man has just come back. It was indicating left. And then uh, changed his mind and indicated right. Um, yeah, so just recap that one. Um, going on to the 127 now, up to the M, uh, sorry, down to the M25. Um, head round to the uh, M11, up the M11. A14, pick up the A14 up towards Cambridge. Um, stay on the 14 all the way across to the uh, M1. And then I'll, uh, I'll pick up the, uh, the M6 at that junction at uh, Cop, not Cop Dock, um, Catthorpe. Catthorpe Interchange. I'll pick up the, uh, the M6 there. Well, basically, it's where the, M uh, the A14 finishes, the M6 carries on, and you've got the option to go uh, M1 North. Uh, all the way up the M6. In fact, no, I'm not going to do that. That's a total lie. Let's back up, shall we? I'm going to go A14, and then go on to the M1 North. And go up to the A50 at, uh, is it Junction 24, is it? I think it is. Across the A50, A500, and pick up the M6 at junction 16. Basically, it's where I came through yesterday. I miss out a lot of the, uh, M6 traffic then. I miss all Birmingham out, which is a bonus, isn't it? And then up to the M62. I had a good lady sending me uh, or tagging me on stuff on Facebook. It's coming up to Christmas, isn't it? And uh, I've mentioned in previous videos on a weekend. Well, when I get time, on a weekend I do uh, a bit of welding and uh, fabricating stuff. Um, I make all sorts. If I can stick it together and make it out metal and look pretty, I'll make it. And she just sent me a horseshoe Christmas tree. Can you make this? Yeah. It's about, it's about a dozen horseshoes. What's that thing? Three across the bottom. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine horseshoes. Nine horseshoes. Um, welded in a pyramid. Three for the base, make it stand up. And it's got baubles hanging from each of them in between the gaps. It looks pathetic itself. But somebody will buy it. <laughs> I told her I'll weld it together, she can do the rest. She, uh, she does a bit of engraving and stuff uh, on wood. Um, she does wooden baubles and things to personalise them, you know, with kids' names and things like that. So she does all right, she always does well at Christmas. It's a bit of pocket money for her. It's a shameless plug. I look at SM, so Sierra Mike, SM Laser Crafts on Facebook. That's my good lady. Um, I'll stick a link in the description. We do have uh, another laser engraver. She, she uses a small little nedgy, it's called. Um, and we bought a, uh, a bigger one. You can do all sorts of junk on that. It's quite good actually. You make all sorts of acrylics and stuff and. The uh, stand-up lighty thing that's in my dashboard, which you'll see uh, on the when I do the cab tour. Um, I made that and engraved it using the laser engraver. Uh, it was quite good, a good bit of kit. Cheap Chinese thing, but it's uh, it's quite effective. It does the job. Oh. So I rang the office earlier and told them that uh, I ain't 
I ain't getting these tipped tonight, or it's very unlikely I'm getting tipped. And it, it ain't bothered, as long as I get done and I do, I, I don't mess about and get on with the job, I ain't bothered. If I can't physically get there because of time, I can't get there. They don't care. Um, there's no time deliveries on these. So I'm tipping these in Bootle, and then I'm going back to Runcorn, and I office at Runcorn, getting the truck washed, getting myself washed, then I get a shower there in the morning. I will get a shave, so I'll be all pretty. And um, then I've got another tractor, I wasn't sure what they were, but I've got a tractor and a uh, skid steer, uh, which is, well, you might know it as a bobcat, little four wheel thing with a shovel on the front, and you sit inside it, and you've got tillers as opposed to a steering wheel. It's dead funny this big guy getting one of them, there's not a lot of room when I'm sat in it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've got one of them. They're going to uh, they're going to Birkenhead docks, being exported to Ireland. So I'd say it's only about half an hour from yard, so about an hour round trip. So that's tomorrow morning. And then after that, no idea. Why is this guy going so slow? In a 60. understand that but the worst thing is when you start to overtake them they put the foot down I wonder why we get annoyed well clear of him uh, these tracks are quite a nice load um, me personally I put wheel straps around the front wheels and then over strap the rear wheels um, of the first tractor, second tractor is two over 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 straps. Uh, they're all tightly run into each other, as it were. Uh, you know, the, the tires are butted up to each other, so they ain't moving. Um, and then the third tractor, the one on the rear, gets a, an overstrap on the rear wheel, which is reversed on. Um, so the leading wheel, as it were, and then wheel straps around the uh, the very last set of wheels. They don't move. Oh, don't attempt fit, but they generally don't move. So right, we've witted on again and again, and we always witter on, don't we? So I'll leave you to it for now. I'll get down there, uh, down to 25. Go do some more battle with the traffic, and I'll catch you guys. Ah. I'll do a progress report after I've had a break. It's not going to be long before I stop for a break. Um, let's uh, get it under four and a half hours. So uh, I might stop at Cambridge Services, maybe. I might blitz through there, actually, get rid of traffic. Don't know. But I'll speak to you when I'm coming out of services or wherever it is I stop for a break. Catch you in a bit, guys. Bye. Hi, guys. Um, one second. Had a 45 minute break on the side of the A14. Just trying to get out. Very nice chap, let me out, thank you very much, sir. We'll flishy flashy back in. To say thank you, because I'm good like that. I say thank you. I say. Um, yeah, I've just had a, a 45 minute break. Just had some tomato and basil soup for lunch. And uh, Warburton's Thins, I don't know if you've tried them yet, but um, I normally use, uh, what they're called, you know, tortillas, tortilla wraps for bread, um, but they didn't have no wholemeal one and I didn't want white ones, so I spotted these Warburton Thins, um, and there's six of them in, and they're sliced, <coughs> had a beat, and absolutely cracking for uh, sandwiches, in fact I'll show you what I use for sandwiches. I'm driving, of course. I'm not. I'm not driving. I'm stationed. I'm digging in my fridge. Woo. We were in Sainsbury's the other day shopping. Just happened to be the local one of choice, and that's what we got. Little packets. There is like an individual serving. It's fantastic. Fantastic, I tell you. Fantastic. Anyway, um, so yeah, I got a, a ham, and that one's chicken, and. Um, I was going to get some tortilla wraps, as I said, 
but they didn't have any in the wholemeal ones. So I ended up getting some wholemeal um, Warburton thins. But these square little slices of bread that have been sliced in two, and they are thin. But two of them with some ham the other day, perfect for lunch. Really, really good. So obviously there's less carbs there. A lot better than what I've been getting. You're know, going to get a packing sandwiches from uh, supermarket or garages and that. Not only my uh, it'll help my waistline, but also my, help my bank balance as well because they're not cheap. As, you, as anybody that travels the roads knows, roads knows. Oh wait, but I didn't know it. But, um, yeah, anybody that runs up and down the motorways knows buying from service stations and that ain't cheap. Um, I normally, I normally bring forty pound with me on a Monday, Sunday, Monday, start my week, I'll bring £40 cash, obviously I've got my, uh, my cash card, um, my, you know, my hole in the wall, my debit card, I have that with me obviously, in case I need to park or anything like that, but I normally, historically I brought 40 quid with me a week, and that was if I wanted anything, sandwiches and stuff for lunch or, or whatever, um, this week I made a point of making sure I had enough stuff in the truck to feed myself all week, and I didn't bring any cash, and I normally carry my wallet in, in my pocket um, and I'll leave it in my truck so when I do go fill up or go use a toilet I haven't got a temptation to buy anything when I'm walking past the sweet aisle and that uh, so I've been exceptionally good this week I'm throwing the juice and water down my neck so I'm getting through two litres of fluid a day as you saw earlier I, uh, I use a concentrate for, to make a to make a bottle of water into, uh, into orange juice uh, I don't do it every time probably Every other time, maybe every third time, certainly not every time. So yeah, Warburton Thins, give them a try, they're cracking. So all I did was open it up, stick some ham in it, put it back on, and that's it. No butter, no mayonnaise, no nothing, it was just literally thins, these thins, so basically bread and ham. And it was really, really nice, I thought it'd be quite dry and not very pleasant, but it was really, really impressed. But yeah, I digressed anyway, So I was talking about my soup. Um, tomato and basil soup and I got one of these thins just a bit of a donkey uh, burnt my hand on the steam after it came out of the microwave that was right small that really hurt um, <clears throat> but I bought the soup um, one of these ready made soups from uh, Sainsbury's and I'm sat there eating it thinking I've got a soup maker at home well my wife has you know one of these blender cooker things literally just chuck a load of raw materials into it you know so if you're making a tomato and basil soup you chuck a load of tomatoes in a load of basil I'm assuming you put other things in there as well maybe some water or something I don't know I'll figure that one out but I'm gonna make my own soups I know I've got some clippable sealable soup cup things so I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna make some soup this week so that's next Wednesday's vlog sorted out check out tonight's vlog oh Wednesday's vlog that's just been released it's about three days old now last week's mini vlog vlog number one check that out <laughs> I'll explain that I'm gonna do some cooking I'm gonna do the cooking on a mini vlog so this weekend I'll uh, I'll make me send some soup and I'll video that for uh, for next Wednesday's for Wednesday's vlog <laughs> confusing all this isn't it <laughs> it's confusing for me recording in the past as it were Anywho, so yeah, you saw anyway. I'm on to the A14 now, heading up. I've got 140 miles to go. <coughs> it's still trying to get me to go up the M6. I don't want to go up the M6. I don't want to go past Birmingham. So I am going to go up the A1. Uh, sorry, the M1, um, A50, uh, A, um, A500. Pick up the M6 at Junction 16. Pardon me. Ooh. Tomato and basil. Um, yeah, I put into Burtonwood into the sat nav. Burtonwood service is where I'm aiming for tonight. It's going to be close. Um, I've got 3 hours 11 on the clock right now left of driving and 2 hours and 53 on the sat nav for any tier. So it's going to be close. Uh, I might end up uh, parking short. But we'll, uh, we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Might even be limb truck stop tonight. We don't know. Well, I don't know, we'll find out when we get up there. 
quite speculating right now. I've still got 53 miles to go before I even get to the M1. Oh no, that'll be taking me on to M6. Yeah, let's just take me straight up the M6, so I can't really see how far I've got. Car's that far. So I'll cut you loose for now, and I'll uh, get back to you tonight when I'm all packed up. Um, wherever that may be. Speak to you soon. Bye. Hi guys. Well, um, <laughs> so much for me being up in <laughs> in Bo Bootle tonight. That ain't gonna happen. Uh, Neither's Burton Wood Services. That ain't gonna happen. Then I thought, well, I'll go into Storbart Yard at Appleton because we're allowed to park in there. That's not happening either. There's a crash ahead of me. 25 minute delay. Um, I've drastically running out of time, so I'm just going to bin it. I'm approaching Keel. Keel Services on the M6. I'm going to chuck it in there and call it a day. If I don't get written off the road. So yeah, I didn't get anywhere near as, high, uh, as far up as I, I wanted to get, but no, I can do. I've done 9 hours and 13 minutes driving, and I've just gone over a 15, into a 15 hour day, which I'm not really happy about because I'm, I'm losing, you know, a good hour and a half uh, of potential wages. But there's no I can do. I ain't, I ain't messing about with traffic just to gain a little bit that I'm not even going to really gain. Does that make sense? I'm just going to be uh, sitting in more traffic. It's not worth it. So I'm going to try and get parked in here. Not that hopeful, but we'll see. Oh, he's just abandoned it on corner. Clever bit of driving that. Some drivers are so damn lazy. I'm not that busy. Not that I can see, but it's a bit bloody right. That sun. Oh. So, uh, try and find a spot to hide. Oh, well, he just took that spot that I was eyeballing. Yeah, you know what? I might not get in here. I might end up going up to Sandbach and trying there. It's kind of putting me in a bit of a predicament this now because I'm uh, rapidly running out of time. I'll have a tool around here and see if there's anything in that gap next to the DHL, which does look like there's going to be. There is, there's a rigid in there. Oh, he's abandoning it there. Man, that's stuck next to this one. <laughs> Even that guy's cheese off. You see that on camera then? He's pretty much. Well, uh, not too long. Oh, even parking over there, look. This is a bit silly. I need to park, I need to park, I need to park. I could, possibly. I absolutely know where to park. That's on the others. He's trying to park in there. Oh man. No way I'm getting in here. Maybe that's not tank it. I think so. If I park in there, I ain't getting out. I won't get in there. If I park there, I ain't getting out. Move on. Let's go try Sandbatch. I really don't have to do this, but we'll, uh, I ain't got a choice really. I like said, there's a lot of drivers are going to be doing thinking exactly the same as me and binning it early. Um, if I don't get in Sandbatch, I'm screwed. Absolutely screwed. Um, <coughs> see how we get on. I'll uh, get back to you when I'm approaching. I'll speak to you in a minute. Bye for now. Hi right, guys, welcome back. Um, it's only like 10 minutes 10 minutes since we tried at Kiel 
Uh, I've got 32 minutes of driving time left. I'm just approaching Sandbach. Unfortunately, Sandbach is a road chef when I have to pay on my pocket. But the company does pay it back, so it's not a major drama. Whereas Moto and uh, Welcome Break, we have accounts. It's not guaranteed to get parked in here though, but if I don't, I'm going to be in trouble. I'm going to be in trouble because I've got little option otherwise. Oh, there's a space there, isn't it? Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, right next to a fridge. I haven't got much choice. It's there or I'm going home. It's there or nowhere. We're going in there. <clears throat> We're going in here for night. I ripped my ear out, ear look out, so I took the footage off. Well, I'm in, not happy, but I'm in. Part next to a fridge. Hopefully, he's only on a break. If not, I'm gonna have to listen to that humming away all night. I might just move over there, actually. I might move over there. So I don't have to listen to him humming all night. I'm gonna move over there. Caught driver thinking it put all that effort in to get into that space and now he's moving. Yeah, I don't want to listen to a fridge all night. And then coming down that side of him, there's not. I have it like that, I'm like that. I'm going to reverse it back. Do. If I go much back much further, I think you can get out. Right, that's it, I'm not moving again. That's it, I should have to listen to that fridge. So, I'm going to cut the vlog here for this week. Um, it's not been the best of weeks for you guys to see, I appreciate that, but um, I can only bring you really interesting content when I've got really interesting content to, uh, to vlog, to film. Um, hopefully next week will be a little bit more interesting. The, um, the Unimogs Monday weren't bad. It's been very mundane work all week, rest of the week really. Um, simple stuff. So Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, if you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe if you've not already done so. Uh, hit the notification bell. So you get to um, get informed when I uh, when I have posted. Um, I post these vlogs, the weekly vlogs, ten o'clock on a Sunday, and I, I do my mini. Look, I just started doing the mini vlog on a um, on a Wednesday night at seven pm. Um, so yeah, if you like it, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share it with friends, and all that good stuff. And. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all I've got to say to you this week. So thanks for riding along with me. And I will catch you next week. I'll catch you? Catch you? I'll catch you even. I'll catch you next week. Take care guys. Bye bye.